And if he didn't fall on his knee wrong, no, but like it would have been, no, it would have been a nothing play. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, even if he doesn't get hurt, you need to call those penalties. Mm-hmm. Maybe penalties should mean more. I've heard people throwing out a long traditional suggestion: penalties should be full two minutes. You don't get out of the box when the team uh, gets a goal on the power play. Like, make those minors affect teams more to be more of a deterrent from mm-hmm. guys taking risks yeah like if they're gonna take a penalty it's for a good reason right now there's a lot of guys that are just i don't know if it's enough of a determent to change behavior you need to be training the players to play a more exciting less obstruction type of game yeah and and if if the connects like we were all waiting because we saw it in tampa bay against tampa bay when troy stetcher went down like like if this just yes barry just barry I'm gonna look at it up. Look at it. Uh just very <laughs> Cock God Cod Cod Niami. Whatever. It's Niami. Think yeah. of like Niami. Cock Niami. To, oh Cock to Niami. Cock to Niami. Whatever. However you want to say it, Ryan. Kotka. They call him KK. KK is the only player in the NHL younger looking and wimpier and skinnier and li- and tinier than Elias Pettersson. So Tim Schaller should have been all over that if he's willing to get his face punched in by <laughs> who is that Stephen Harper that he took on for the Ottawa Senators. So you you go down the bench and you say who are the who which of these Canucks is going to be able to fight him? They're all too big. No no Roussel, no Beagle, no uh, Ed, uh, you know, no Horvat, no Besser. They can't fight. No Berchi. He just had a concussion. Brandon Sutter's too big. Uh, you're at the bottom. There's nobody there. Tim Schaller, who we don't even know how tall he is or how tough he is. He's probably he just sucks. And Tyler Mott, who is the uh, the greatest trade in Jim Benning history. You know it's where? yeah, it's, so it's a weird like there, one. There's one player, and it's Troy Stetcher could potentially go and fight him. And then what? You go beat you beat the shit out of this little boy who made your superstar fall on his knee wrong, and then what? Like, you just, like, I know we want blood and we want retribution and we want all this, but at the end of the day, what's it worth? Well, no, that's, a, like it's I said, not Mike I'd, rather, I'd rather just penalties be called and mm-hmm. that be the determent, but if there aren't penalties called, it doesn't have to be a fight. It just has to be a little bit of intimidation or whatever. The problem you get, like, on that type of play, Sutter immediately after in the intermission said, it's not a penalty. Travis Green after the game says it's not a penalty. These are, like... To a certain degree, old school, hard nose, hard nose hockey players. This is just pushing and shoving. Yeah. Whereas, like from the outsider looking in, eh, you know, eh, it's it's a different viewpoint where you go like, well, but it was unnecessary. Like, should we be encouraging scrums and and tough stuff in certain situations and not in others? And this is more of a philosophical debate, which guys like Brandon Sutter probably aren't as keen to get into. They just go, this is the way the game is. You They're know, not thinking about what it could be. You know what's funny is that Canuck fans and media and and whomever were up in arms when Ken Hitchcock was saying, Connor McDavid, like where are the penalties on McDavid? Because people are, are are playing him so tight and so rough and tumble and yeah. they're not giving him any room out there and they are... You know they're giving him that treatment, and because he's the he's a superstar, and you shut him down to shut down the Oilers, and it's clear that when you shut down Patterson, you shut down the Canucks. So he's getting that McDavid treatment. Oh yeah. So cut two weeks, a week and a half later, or whenever that was, because I was at that game, and Canuck fans were scoffing, balking at the idea that Connor McDavid or his coach was sticking up for him, and now here we are with a strange little play that's not even outside of an obstruction call away from the whistle. We're up in arms. We're burning down the house because we're that up. They're they're that upset about it. It's just funny to see yeah, how quickly need- this this market goes from like just li- like bully mode to just you know sympathy and, sympathetic. And you're saying this victim. market. We're talking about specific. Like there are people that say these things, and when it comes to Twitter, which is where we see these things, you're getting a lot of people that are the loudest of the just like ocean mm. of people. Yeah. So I mean, it is one you you can't have it both ways. Even if you're talking about uh, answering with a fight or whatever after the play, it's like, well, you're st- like, are you in the camp if you want obstruction and fights and whatever? Like, you should be able to step back, analyze the situation. What kind of hockey do I want to see and why? 